hi guys welcome back to make a five star so this is how i'm looking today this is how i'm looking today i'm tired i have to cook so i got a lot going on but anyway guys we're gonna get into the topic we're gonna get into this topic okay we're gonna get into this topic of the day all right all right so let me just pull point you down to what i'm getting ready to get into i gotta cook this food i'm tired i'm looking tired but forgive me honey but let's get into this topic why you watch me cook this food all right guys i had started and i was talking and everything and do you know i ain't had the camera going bananas but anyway guys let's get on the topic so the thing with dub and chino so dub made a video about how before i began guys let me just show y'all what i did with my cabbage all right look at that you see that goodness in there that's the first part of the cabbage the greenery in the cabbage that's the greenery that's the the top of the cabbage right when you first start the pillage, you got that real green part that part is the tough part you want to start cooking that first you want to fry that first and so the and to let you guys know what i'm cooking i'm making cabbage um sweet sausages mm -hmm. um rice and cornbread and um so to get this because that first part the first pill of the cabbage be tough you want to start cooking that first right and so what i did guys before the video thing, what I always do is I save some of my bacon grease. So I put some of my bacon grease in there along with some vegetable oil. I just put like a half a cup to start off with. Um, I put like a half a cup of, like maybe not even a half a cup, maybe a fourth a cup of uh, oil, vegetable oil, and two tablespoons of bacon grease. And I just start uh, frying my cabbage like that. So that's what you hear in the background. That's just my cabbage frying. And I'm cooking that now to start. And now I'm going to, um, I'm peeling my cabbage up, right? All right. So, yeah, guys. Um, so, Dell made a video talking about Chino. And he was saying that um, he called Chino one day to ask him to go ahead and to do a picture for Kai. Because, you know, um, Chino be drawing D does drawings and then he make pictures he did one for um dub and he did one for dd ddg and some of the other um guys in the crew right all right so dub told him to do one for kai i guess it would be also a good look for chino why not do it you know this was around the time kai was doing his marathon on twitter i mean on twitch and everybody was watching and everything and so he said, get the picture over there, you know, and, you know, do it for Kai. So anyway, Chino said, he, and Chino also did um, pity back off of uh, Dub's video. Because um, he said he wasn't going to do it. But since Dub put it out there, he's going to make his, do his version of what happened. Right? All right. So Chino said he was doing it and everything. It was taking a while. Was, you know, probably was short notice and everything. But he was doing it. He did the picture. He was getting it done as fast as he could or whatever. And he said, but then Doug said during the time that he told Chino to get it over there, I guess Chino wasn't moving fast enough for Doug or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, during the time, I saw um, Kai's live on Twitch. And yes, somebody did bring in, and DDG was there. Somebody did bring in a big old uh, painting of Kai. And it was nice. Somebody else did a big one. And this was just random, I guess. So then um, Dub said, he was saying, he had said, well, um, Chino might don't even need to bring that little um, picture or painting he's going to do. Because that little picture, that little printed picture, he put printed in there at that. He said, because... Um, you know, of what Kai already received. He was like, Chino could keep his picture now, you know. And so Chino was like, he felt some type of way about that because, you know, it's the suggestion. It's just the gesture that he was going to even do it. It was just something he wanted to do. Guys, don't laugh at my little knife. <laughs> this knife I had for 10 years. It's the best knife 
I got it free at the grocery store. They was doing a free promo. I got it free. I didn't think I was going to even like the knife. Turned out I liked, liked the knife. Then when I went to look at the knife to see the company, the they messed up, you know, with their little promo. They messed up because they didn't even engrave the name of their company on the knife. So now I don't even know where to buy the knife from. But anyway, guys. So, yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's crazy. So, Chino said he felt like some type of way because it was a gesture. It was just a gesture of him doing it. It was something good. So, he said he just felt like Doug just did, you know, went out, just went wrong by calling out his picture and his painting calling it small and I mean little and printed and stuff like that so Chino showed the um picture I'm showing it to you here Chino showed the um picture of what he did and it looked nice it looked like it's a cute little size it's a nice little size I mean it ain't little little but it's a nice size like it's pretty much what of how he normally do his um his thing. I'm gonna rinse this off. My table is clean, by the way. So, we'll bring this pot over here. Now I'm gonna switch y'all. I'm gonna switch y'all and show y'all how I put this batch in. But I'm gonna just pour this in here. With the uh, with the grease. And let that start cooking. And I got my stove on medium. Then you stir it in. You make sure you stir it. Make sure you stir all the oils and stuff in there. Make sure you stir it. Okay. And guys, I don't know if I had a chance to tell you, but I'm going to tell you how I season my cabbage in a minute. So anyway, um, Cinco felt, I mean Cinco. So anyway, Chinko felt some type of way. He felt some type of way, which by right he should. I mean, his best friend supposedly, well, good friend, is calling his um, painting and his picture pretty much trash. I mean, that's wrong. You Didn't you get one? Uh, Dove got one, and he liked it. So why would you call his... Why would you downplay his artwork? Why would you downplay his work when you enjoyed getting it? So now why would you go and downplay it? That's wrong. So anyway, he felt some type of way. So he didn't, he said he waited all night for Dove to call. It got late. He said he had somebody else with him too, helping him or whatever. And he said it got late. And so he just told the guy to go ahead and leave. And he just never even talked to Dub after that anymore because, of course, he felt some type of way. So he said Dub didn't never even call him back, try to apologize for downplaying his, um, the, you know, his gesture or anything. He said Dub didn't call him back or anything. And he said he felt some type of way, but he just let it go. He said, but then, weeks later, he see that Dub unfollowed him on Instagram. That's I'm like, for real, Dove, I'm following Chinko. If anything, Chinko should have been the one uh, following Dove. <laughs> but anyway, he said um, Dove unfollowed him on Instagram. And he just, you know, couldn't believe it. He said, but you know, he just felt like Dove, he said Dove is have a problem with saying he, with apologizing and saying that he's sorry for things that he do. He said, Dub just have such a hard time apologizing and saying he's sorry, which is kind of messed up to me. But he said he just left it alone or whatever. He said, but, you know, that's when weeks and weeks went by and Dub never called him, never apologized, never anything. Never acknowledged what he did wrong or anything. So then he said, so then... Fast forward, now Dub's doing a video. Now Dub doing another video of how him and Chino fell out. So that's when he did that video talking about the painting and how Chino could have just kept it because Kai got a better painting or whatever. And, you know, he talked about that. So then he said he just wanted to... So Dub said... So Dub said he wanted to make it right after that. He just felt like he wanted to make it right. 
And so what he did was he um went to Best Buy. You see the uh, going to Best Buy, getting the game, and then taking it to Chinko. And and Chinko said at the time he said he just felt Chino Chinko. Chino said at the time he just felt like it was. It was bad timing, he said, because he had things to do. He was rushing around. He said, and in fact, that Doug came to apologize, but he came with a camera. He said he just felt like if it would have it been a more authentic apology if Doug wouldn't have came with the camera. He said Doug came there with the camera, filming him, talking about what happened. He said he still didn't get an authentic apology from Doug. He just talked about the incident or whatever and made a gesture and gave you know pointed out the gift but you guys watched the video well, do you think that it was authentic the way dub um apologized to chinko how do you guys feel but anyway i just felt like wow their their relationship is going to be ruined guys i'm gonna turn you now to the um pot i'm getting ready to um dump the cabbage in here so now i'm turning it to the pot so anyway, guys, do you feel like that was authentic? Do you guys think it was authentic the way um, Dub apologized to him? I just feel like this. Chinko has did so much for Dub and DDG as a whole. And he always did good by them. I mean, he was with DDG when DDG first came out there. He was, you know, he was faithful to DDG and he helped DDG with a lot of things too. You know what I mean? It wasn't like Chinko was like just Guys, like excuse me. This Chinko thing is really annoying me. I can't believe I kept saying that throughout the video. But his name is Chino. Chino. He, the, what got me is when Chinko was saying that he just upset again also that his birthday, he didn't get any gifts from none of his L.A. friends. I think he said one. He said at least one of them did give him something. He said, but he didn't get a birthday gift. He didn't name DDG or Dub. And he said he didn't get a birthday gift for nobody in LA. From nobody in LA. What kind of mess is that? What kind of mess is that? All that that Chinko has done, have done for DDG. To not even get a gift from DDG or from um, Dub. All that, guys, I'm adding water, yes. Gotta add a little water. And then, guys, for my seasoning, I think I didn't have it on the camera when I was showing you my seasoning. All I use is pepper, some Lowry's. But just a little Lowry's. I don't really like a lot. And some salt. Mm. And the kicker, guys, you're going to be like, what? Yes. A little sugar. A little sugar brings out the flavor in many middles. A lot of people don't know that. But sprinkle just a little sugar in there. It brings out the flavor in a lot of middles. A lot of people don't know that trick. Mm. Just a little bit. You don't want to over. You don't want sweet mm. cabbage. You just want to bring out the flavor. Mm. So you mix that goodness in there. All of that good um, mm. baking grease and oil. Yes. And guys, that's what brings out the flavor in cabbage. If you overpower your cabbage with a lot of seasoning. You're not really going to get a good uh, a taste of the cabbage. You don't want to overpower your cabbage. You want that cabbage flavor. So what you want to do when you season your cabbage uh. is just season it to enhance the cabbage flavor. Not to cover it up with just seasoning. It tastes like you're going to be seasoning water. You're going to have seasoned water. <laughs> you're going to be tasting seasoning instead of the, the um, great taste healthy taste of cabbage so really this that's all the type that's all the seasonings you want in your cabbage now sometime 
I'm, I got to tell you this trick too. Sometimes, not all the time, but when I use it, I don't use just a tad bit of it. And I only have a little bit, like a little Monterey chicken seasoning. Just a little bit of this, grill mates. I like to sprinkle just a little uh. bit of that in there. That's it. You don't need all that other stuff. Tony's and complete. No, no. This is all you need. This is all you need. If you want, you can add a little bit of red uh, pepper to it if you want. Other than that, you're good. And it smells so good. The, the, the um, smell of the cabbage. My stove is clean, guys. The smell of the cabbage is so good. So you want to put that on seven for an electrical stove and for a regular stove. You want to put it almost to high, not just a little bit after medium to start it to boil, right? Then you want to cover it and let that simmer. But yes, guys, I mean, I'm going to put you back over here. I'm going to put you back over here so I can start cleaning. But yes, guys, that was crazy. Um, So, he didn't get a gift. He didn't get a birthday gift from Doug or DDD, DDG. And I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Is, aren't they still friends? But DDG haven't been doing much with Chinko lately. I don't understand. I don't understand that. But not only did... Uh, Chinko stopped hanging out with DDG and Dub. Valentine, um, Chinko's girlfriend and Dub's uh girlfriend stopped hanging out. Brittany, I haven't seen them hanging out neither. The day friendship end because of what Chinko and Dub is going through. But guys, listen to this. Do you think Dub now is now reaching out to Chinko because the Shay is moving? Do you think Dub is reaching out to Chinko now because Deshae is moving? I'm wondering. I know people be like, why is she washing off her wooden board? Uh, because <laughs> I, I don't want it dirty. And because it doesn't mess it up. I've been doing this for years. Uh, you don't soak it in the water. You just mm. rinse it with a little bit of detergent and water, and you're good. And make sure you dry it off with a piece of paper towel, and you're good. It does not mess up my oh. heart. Guys, if you hear the noise in the background, you know I have an autistic son. Right now, he's just really trying to get on my nerves. But anyway... Do you guys feel like Dub is just reaching out now, reaching out to Tinkle now because um, Deshae is moving to Atlanta and he needs somebody to film with? Because <laughs> you know in the past, when it looked like when Dub needed some content, of course, he went and made uh, content with Chinko. I mean, I ain't seen nothing wrong with it, but now I'm wondering, like, is he going to need Chinko? Is he going to need some content now? I'm hoping that's not... The only reason why he reached out to Chinko. But Chinko did say that uh, he feels some type of way that Dub was filming him, bringing him a gift. Mind you, after his birthday. Because Chinko said he got nothing for his birthday. Which I feel some type of way about that too. Because Chinko always looking out for DDG. At least I've seen him. And he's always giving, you know, he's always giving oh, them something. Oh, oh. Maybe not Dub on exactly on Dub's birthday. I don't know. I think he did give Dub something mm -hmm. on his birthday. It's just that it seems one-sided to me. I think he did give uh, Dub something on his birthday. It just, it's just that it seems one-sided to me, and it's not right. I mean, you know, that's your friend. Treat your friend right. But, yeah, guys, so... Chinko didn't, um, Chinko. Guys, if I keep, kept saying Chinko, <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm combining Chinko with. 
Cinco. Oh, <laughs> God, forgive me. If I kept saying that throughout the video, oh, my goodness. Ignore me. But Chino didn't take well to the apology. He felt as though it wasn't really authentic. And he still looked like he feels some type of way. He said, because, you know, the thing about the picture downplaying his artwork and then along with not recognizing his birthday as he did with DDG and Dub. He even did, redid um, DDG's room, for goodness sake. His Twitch room. I mean, he really did a lot for them. And for them not to give back or... or you know, return the gesture. I think that's kind of off. I think it's kind of off. But anyway, guys, comment down below what you think. I'm going to finish up my cabbage and finish cooking this Sunday dinner. And, um, yeah, guys, comment down below what you think about that because I kind of think that was kind of shady. <laughs> I think, I kind of think that was kind of shady. What you think? Anyway, guys, comment down below. Guys, I look a mess. I look tired. I'm off this camera. Please make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Done.